Right now, I think the biggest challenge that any communicator has is twofold. Um, one is to think of clutter breaking mediums within the social and digital media landscape that we have available to communicate. Um, and I think the other more equally important one is to how to do it cost effectively. Mm -hmm. And what I mean by that is again, you know, going back five to seven years where the channels like Facebook were virtually free and they were actually thinking about how to monetize it to today a time where some of my startup founder friends tell me that the maximum amount of their marketing spends actually go in just displaying their common pieces of communication on a medium like Facebook. Mm -hmm. So how to do it cost effectively and how to do it creatively. <laughs> I think one of the most important thing for them to realize is that it's not a question of if for them it's a question of when um, that today's audiences armed with social media activism can be ruthless and they can also be unfair so uh, think of it as a real and present danger and those um, those well-wishers inside whether it's an employee or an expert uh, who wants to work towards crisis preparedness mm -hmm. um, don't think that he's a negative minded naysayer who always sees the glass half empty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> think of him as someone who will really come handy, his work will come handy. Uh -huh. Don't think of your crisis preparedness work as wasted time and efforts where you could direct those energy in some real growth and some mm -hmm. positive messaging. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do think of it as the insurance yeah. for future.